Scrappers, Tom from the iScrap app. Today is Saturday, November 17th, 2018. On top of it being my wife's birthday, we want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving coming in five or six short days. We hope that you, your friends, and family have a very happy and safe holiday season. Make sure you're not drinking and driving. There's plenty of ride services out there, you know, uh, those Ubers and the Lyfts of the world. So please make sure you're doing everything safe and make sure you're sending us pictures of some of the scrap that you're going out there for. If you're posting them on social media, you can always hashtag us at iScrap app or uh, just hashtag scrap life and make sure you, you, know, you tag us. We'd love to see things that you guys are doing. This week we just want to talk about some of the prices that we've seen reported over the last week. If you tuned into our weekly report three days ago, you saw that the scrap steel prices have increased. Copper and aluminum, we're waiting to see what's going to be happening with one of the meetings in Argentina in two weeks. And overall, we're in a wait and see mode to see what's going to happen going into the holiday season because we know that it's always been a bit of an up and a down market. So let's go into it and we'll talk about the Ferris prices first. San Jose, California, we saw number one HMS reported at six and a half cents a pound. Spokane, Washington, steel shavings, five cents a pound. Warren, Michigan, shred steel, $140 a ton. Light iron in McKenzie, Tennessee, $150 a ton. Sheet iron in Warsaw, Indiana, $85 a ton. Shredding steel in Davie, Florida, $125 a ton. Out in Fremont, Nebraska, light iron reported at 135 a ton. And down in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, shredding steel, $170 a ton. Pop over to the non-ferrous side of things. Rockaway, New Jersey, Bear Bright Copper, 245. Wayburn, Saskatchewan, up in Canada, don't forget this is in Canadian dollars. A number two, three mixed at $1.50 a pound. Warsaw, Indiana, electronic ballasts, two cents a pound. Streetsboro, Ohio, lead acid batteries, 25 cents a pound. It's a very strong price. Odenton, Maryland, copper transformers, 18 cents a pound. Talk about transformers for a second. A lot of transformers that you're gonna to start to pull out of televisions, electronics, and different things, they might look to be copper with the outside windings being copper. But fun fact, many transformers are made with aluminum interior windings, one layer of exterior copper windings. So while you may think you're going to sell a copper transformer, be prepared to get a very low price because they will buy it for aluminum transformer price. Lansing, Michigan, lead batteries, 32 cents a pound. That's an even stronger price. Huntington, West Virginia, brass, 120 a pound. Vinton, Virginia, yellow brass, 86 cents a pound. Lawrence, Kansas, aluminum extrusion, 47 cents a pound. Lowell, Massachusetts, bare bright wire, 190 a pound. San Jose, California, sealed units or compressors, 10 cents a pound. Omaha, Nebraska, ACRs, $1.01 .01 cent a pound. Guys, this is Tom from the iScrap app. We here wish you, your friends, your family, your scrapping friends, and of course, all of the rest of you out there that are out there scrapping, a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. We won't have a weekly report this week, but we'll make sure to get you a couple of pieces of information because we know that your thirst for scrap never ceases. Make sure you continue to subscribe to our page, watch some of our other YouTube videos, and until next week, I'll scrap you later.